Hi guys, Tom Morrison here and today I want to go over if you are having symptoms of pain or constantly getting injuries if you're a runner. The body is a wonderful thing, but it can sometimes get confused. So what I want you guys to try for me, and like I said, I'm still going forward, I'm still propelling myself. You're going to walk, pushing off your calves, okay? So you're gonna deliberately every time push the foot up as high as you can, okay? So I'm walking right now with my calf. I am very aware of my calf doing the work. Next, try and lock out your knees a little as you walk. So I've straightened out my knees and I'm now pushing my knee backwards, okay? Now I can feel my hamstring. Then what I want you to do, squeeze your bum nice and tight and then push off your glutes. Okay, now to make that more subtle, here's me doing the calf one, here's me doing the hamstring one, and here's me doing the glute one, okay? I'm using a complete focus on different muscles, but I'm still going forward, and as you can see in the last one, it's very, very subtle what's actually going on, okay? So that could be what's happening to you if you're not doing an effective warm-up or your hip mobility isn't great, okay? So it's very important if you're a runner to make sure you have a good, adequate hip range of motion so that your knees aren't being pulled in by your adductors, okay? So deep lunge, ho ho ho. Um, and the other thing is to check your internal, external hip rotation because that's very important for how your glutes are actually going to work, okay? Even with the likes of something like a squat, you have to think, what's happening here when you're going down into a squat? It's rotating, it's rotating as you go down, okay? So rotation is very, very important. I know, mind blown. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you know any runners that are having issues, so if they're constantly getting aggravations with their calves, they could not be using their glutes enough, so they're having to push off their calf more, so the calf's getting up to work. If they're constantly using the hamstrings too much, or pulling hamstrings, or if you're a footballer and you're constantly pulling the hamstring, you could be all hamstring dominant. And then the final one is just to get those glutes going and make sure that you are running effectively. So the SMM is actually very effective if you are a runner as well, okay? It's right across the board. It makes your hips work properly so that you can do a lot of different stuff, okay?